Texturing in Blender can take a lot of time, but add-ons can make the process much smoother. Some help with applying materials, others improve UV handling, and some add wear and tear effects without manual painting, and others actually help you with texture painting. And in this video, we're going through some free add-ons that can help you with the process of texturing, in addition to adding materials. This includes some add-ons that offer a free version of a paid add-on which can help you to a certain extent. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Sanctus Library, which is a really popular add-on. It brings a full collection of procedural materials and assets into Blender, making it easy to apply textures without setting up complex node trees. It includes actually a mix of materials, decals, and procedural generators, which can help you tweak in real time, and the add-on work seamlessly with Blender's asset browser, in addition to the viewport panel, so everything is accessible without breaking your workflow. Just so you know, this is a paid add-on, but with the free or the light version, you will get 62 materials, 13 generators, and 35 decals. I don't know about you, but to me, this seems like a nice start. The add-on supports both Cycles and EV, with clear indicators showing which materials work best in each engine. The good thing is that the add-on comes with regular updates, which bring new assets, that is, if you are interested in the full version. The next add-on is called Cavity Pass, which at the time of making this video is completely free. You know, sometimes you need extra shading effects to bring out depth in textures, and Cavity Pass helps you generate a cavity map that can enhance surface details, focusing on small crevices instead of large-scale shading. So, instead of setting up complex nodes, the add-on automates the process, letting you adjust the cavity distance and preview the results. As you may or may not know, manually creating a cavity effect can be time-consuming, especially for low-end PCs, and this add-on applies it to the entire render, skipping the need for individual object maps. It also provides a node group for adjusting brightness, contrast, and color. While it is great for scene renders, it is not ideal for animations, as it requires manual frame-by-frame -frame rendering. However, since it works through the compositor, it reduces strain on performance. As I said, the add-on is free and works with different render engines, making it useful for some projects like product design, visualization, or anything really. Another interesting add-on is called Quick Roughness Layers, which makes it easy to add surface imperfections without complicating things. So, instead of manually setting up roughness maps, you can select one from a preloaded list and apply it instantly. The add-on lets you control where the roughness appears using the Z-mask, which can confine it to certain areas like the top or the bottom of an object. And to avoid repetitive patterns, there is an end tile option that introduces slight variations. But just keep in mind that too much roughness can make materials look exaggerated, so balance is important. You could just add enough imperfections to make surfaces look natural without overdoing it, and this add-on can help you do that. The next add-on is called Transfer Images, which is a small but useful add-on which makes it easy to transfer textures between UV maps. If you've ever set up a UV map, apply textures, and then realize you need to adjust the layout, then this add-on can save you from starting over. So, instead of rebaking everything manually, it lets you move textures from one UV map to another with just few clicks. The process is simple. Select your object, choose the image node in the shader editor, and open the add-on from the end panel. Then, pick the source and target the UV maps. And if your model is low poly, you can enable the subdivision option to prevent distortion. Once you hit OK, the add-on automatically bakes the textures onto the new UV layout. Generally, this is a great tool for remapping objects, fixing scratch textures, or extracting details from reference images. On the other hand, this add-on called Import as Decal makes adding image-based decals much easier by handling the setup for you. So, instead of manually creating a shrink wrap modifier or adjusting nodes, you can import an image, snap it to a surface, and tweak it instantly. Once installed, you will find the option under the Shift plus A, Image Texture, and Import as Decal. Just select an image, position it, and use the snapping tool to align it. 
The add-on automatically applies shrink wrap and subdivision modifiers to make sure the decal conforms properly. And in the end panel, you can adjust contrast, edge bending, scratches, hue, and saturation to refine the look. And since it relies on modifiers, high subdivision levels can slow things down on weaker machines. But generally speaking, this add-on is a useful tool for adding stickers, posters, or weathering effects without complicating stuff. And if you're looking for more ways to break up perfectly clean surfaces, Grunge takes it a step further by adding realistic dirt and wear effects, of course to a certain extent and depending on your projects. But generally, Grunge is designed to add dirt and grunge effects to materials, making objects look more weathered or aged. It works by generating procedural grime using a separate UV channel, so it doesn't interfere with your original texture mapping. You can toggle between different effects, focusing on dirt, grunge, or both, depending on what you need. And the add-on provides enough control to fine-tune the spread and intensity of the effect, while keeping the process efficient. So instead of manually painting dirt onto models, you can get an automated approach that still allows for customization. Generally, the add-on offers a good range of options, since it is procedural, and you can easily adjust settings without losing flexibility. I believe this add-on used to be paid, and from what I can see, this add-on is now free on Gumroad, and you can get it for $1 on the Blender market. Now, let's talk about Easy PBR, which makes working with PBR materials in Blender much easier. So, instead of manually setting up shaders, you can browse and download over 1,200 free materials from ambientcg.com and turn them into an asset library for quick access. The add-on lets you layer and mix shaders, also adjust roughness, metalness, bump, and displacement, and even bake PBR maps for use in other software. You can also apply procedural textures for added customization. While high-resolution textures can take up storage space, the convenience of an organized material system makes it worthwhile. Another important add-on I want to talk about is called Ravage. This one is paid, but it has a free version. So if you want to go beyond clean PBR materials and introduce more chaotic and worn out effects, Ravage Lite offers a different kind of control. This add-on is a texture manipulation add-on designed to add wear and tear effects to materials, making surfaces look aged, chipped, or covered in dirt. So instead of manually painting textures, it automates the process while still allows for customization, of course. You can control how much damage, grime, or surface variation appears, adjusting it to match the look that you're going for. The add-on offers a wide range of effects, from subtle scratches to more intense weathering, making it useful for both stylized or maybe realistic renders as well. And if you're curious, the full version comes with additional features, but the light version still provides enough functionality to break up overly clean surfaces, making it a useful tool when you want to add more realism without spending too much time on manual texturing. Last but not least, we have Simple Normal Tools, which is a small but useful add-on for handling normals inside Blender. Its main feature lets you select an area surrounded by sharp edges and average the normals, making them all flat. This can help clean up shading, especially on models with hard surface details that need smoother transitions. It also includes smoothing normals, which can be useful for certain models that need refined shading and reset normals, which can restore them to their default values if adjustments don't work as expected. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these free add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.